Welcome back to the stream. Uh, once again, we're just coming back to the, a combat in the middle of the nightshade or nightstone. When we left, there was a rain of arrows coming down upon the group. Uh, what I would like everyone to do is roll a dexterity save. Those of you who have cover, uh, Ginny, Tova, and Jasper, you guys can have advantage. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh shit. And that was a dexterity oh. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. This is gonna hurt a lot. Dirty <laughs> twenty. Oh, that one. Twelve. Nat twenty. Nat twenty plus five. One. <laughs> Actually, a zero. It's a Some of us, oh, no. you can have all their damage. <laughs> so the uh, the DC was twelve. So those of you who made it take two points of damage, and those of you who fail take five. There wasn't a lot of arrows in this rain of arrows, but okay. uh, everybody's catching okay. little bits and bobs. Speaking of catching bits and bobs falling from the sky. I might try and catch a bits and bobs. If you was this like not to... a range attack? Yep, you uh, can right. attempt your grabbing arrows. Uh, three beats the two damage, so I'm going to redirect that shot into uh, Zulkan there. Mm. <laughs> Monks. Yeah, awesome. uh, ten won't hit him. No. The arrow so comes down and you know he just kind of like bats it out of the air and it goes sailing off and you know clangs just above Ginny's head. You will not take any damage. No. That's good. I can't. <laughs> so it is the beginning of the turn, though. Deal damage, Toba. Because you had a corrosive spell on these guys in, before we had taken a break. Oh, Max. Eight. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Nice. I love it. So number seven dissolves into a puddle. <laughs> what a world! What a world! <laughs> Oh no, the cat's creepier guy. But the lizard's creepier now. Yeah, Just no, wait till the cat gets into the puddle of fish goo. It's mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Zolkin looks terrible. <laughs> he is uh, he's been beaten and bashed and now <laughs> melted. Uh, melted. He Let's continue for a minute. Reaches oh. into his <laughs> one of the uh, pouches on his belt and he pulls out a potion and quaffs it as quickly as he can and uh, as it as it kind of slides down his throat you can see it just a wave of invisibility comes out over his body and he becomes mm -hmm. invisible mm -hmm. you can still kind of smell him he smells like sardines mm -hmm. is he still blowing no mm -hmm. Does it cause sight things? Or? Uh, no, it does not. Okay. It, it's just the goo goes on. a little bit. But. And if he doesn't wipe it off, he takes another damage at the start of his next turn. Okay. And you hear him get up and try to run. Uh, Ginny mm -hmm. and uh, Annika, it looks like you guys would both get an attack of opportunity. He does have, he is invisible. Disadvantage. Disadvantage? Yes. I like that. Mm. But wouldn't their flanking give them... No, flanking. No. I'm not playing with, with flanking oh. because there's abilities that players and creatures have that will allow them to do that. 13. That's pretty sweet. Actually. 13 does not connect. Does a 20 or 19 hit? Well, if the 13 didn't hit, I don't see why a 19 hit. <laughs> yes, they're so close. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I forget which order the numbers come in. Nineteen. So deal some damage. Deal some damage. That's off. That's better. That'd be eight points of damage. Your blade slices through the air and you hear a deep scream and then you see the the dust of the road go foof as the invisible Ooh. body lands and uh, the blood that leaks out of him is no, not invisible. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And six seconds later, he's a pile of goo. (laughs) (laughs) So, where is Kella? In that tower. Oh, man! (laughs) Did you guys not realize something probably let loose those arrows? Mm -hmm. Yep, as of all the way over there. As a group of orcs starts to run in. Oh my goodness. I brought orcs! Brought orcs to a knife fight. Uh, Rules, man. There's rules. They've all taken their action to shoot the arrows at you guys, so they're not going to get an action on this turn. But... uh, An organization employs orcs. So, those two that have run away, Mm -hmm. put them in there too. On their horses, or did they leave those behind? They're on their horses. That's why they're in the front. They're leading the charge. (laughs) (laughs) There was no room at the back. (laughs) (laughs) Would you like your Zolkin back? These guys are going to go on a six. Yeah. No, I kind of like him to be alive and on the playing field, but I don't really get that option anymore. (laughs) Well, he could be dead on the playing field. That's um, an obstacle. Yeah, so we'll be back at the top obstacle. of the order with Samber and then Tova is on deck. Uh, all right. Hmm. Samber, what are you going to do? Uh, yeah. I think... So when he knocked the arrow away, I think he definitely overbalanced and fell on his butt. And he's just like <laughs> sprawled out for a minute. He's going to take a breather. He's going to slowly get himself back up and stumble left and right a little bit. Okay, it does take half your movement to get back up from that point. He's not doing anything else. But that's what well, he's... That's what he's doing. Okay. <laughs> Reorienting himself. He, he needs a minute. Turns out a horse stepped on him. <laughs> oh, and how bad could that be? Don't ask Jimmy. Yeah, don't ask me. <laughs> All um, right. Toba. And Jasper is on deck. Well, I'm going to move my character 1, or 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, just to see what's going on. <laughs> There's a bunch of really worked up works. It looks like a uh, fireball. <laughs> I can't do fireball. I'm sorry. So I'm going to do uh, firebolt. It's uh, almost the... about the same. Yeah. <laughs> almost. <laughs> this one does require a ranged attack. Dyslexic wizards. 17 to Are hit number aiming? 6. You're aiming at one of the orcs? Uh, or no, the bandit? The bandit, number 6. Blue number On 6. The horse. Sorry. That is definitely a connection. Okay. And that's a d10 of fire damage. Which is 3. 3 points. It slams into the, the rider. It's fire... He is able to keep the horse under control, even though there was a kind of a small popping of fire right there by the horse's head. Are you doing anything else with a bonus action or movement? Uh, no, I'm good. I... Don't forget, you do still have an inspiration there. I do, yes. I wonder if maybe we should put a little chin straps on them. <laughs> Can I go on your head? <laughs> Wear them like hats? Yeah. This is really uncomfortable. What but is I it? Oh, wait. I can't stick the inspiration to the damage, so... Not yet. Maybe in the future. <laughs> I knew I was going to make that rule. Um, Toba, that was your turn. Mm-hmm. Jasper, and then Ren is on deck. Oh my gosh, Somber. Five, and five to come down. So that's 30 with my feline agility. It will give me enough to get back up there after. Okay. Um, I am going to do some wonderful cure wounds on you. And uh, yeah, so I would like to... Uh, when I give that feeling, I give sexual healing. And uh, you feel a little better with, ooh, seven... And five, uh, so 13 
Cat's tipping the creepy scale. 13? Favorite, 13. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Plus 13, so, sir. Samber's back to full. And, you know, you come up and you, you lay hands on him. He throws an arm over your shoulder and his other arm grabs a, you know, a flask. And he just, he takes a swig while you're doing this. Much better. Oh, much better. All right. <laughs> and I scurry back to my little roof hidey spot on the other side of the... Which probably leaves him a little off balance as you take off. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Jasper. Ren, it's your turn. And then Ginny. I pull over my bag of little tiny tart and some feathers. Mm-hmm. And I cast Tasha's hideous laughter on number six. The bandit? Yes. What's my save on that? Uh, you will get you may have to yep. fourteen. I am quite sure that I failed. You be. Because my note says that it has a nineteen wisdom, about a plus zero, so I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be ten. So he has failed. Uh, or fall prone, becoming incapacitated without being able to stand for the duration. <laughs> so he falls prone this off of his course. horse. Feels like that might hurt. Mm-hmm. And he's just laughing hilariously. He will take max damage. <gasps> oh no. He's slammed and he is laughing so hard. Every time he laughs, he inhales after the laugh because you can hear like wheezing. He's knocked oh. all the air out of his lungs from landing <laughs> <back> on his back. <laughs> <laughs> Any chance that horse is going back through that cluster of orcs after... It's going to run into town, away from the orcs. It's probably taking a little, because they're angry. And it would go that way too. Amused, yep. Amusing, and I start laughing <laughs> at the same time too. <laughs> with his laugh. Yeah, with his laugh. laugh. <laughs> oh, that's so and, and then wheezing. <laughs> The chance that counts as an intimidation check on his buddy. <laughs> they feel pretty pumped up having the reinforcements. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Um, did you have any other movement or bonus action you wanted to do? Uh, I'm going to move back 25 feet because I am still squishing a little. Mm-hmm. You don't. I think if our first session proved anything is that you can be squishy and be at the front. <laughs> Not successfully, <laughs> though. <laughs> you can be Touché. there. Touche. Yes, you can be there. <laughs> so, sure Ginny, it is your turn, and the orcs are on deck. <sighs> no, I'm on deck. I'm on deck. Oh, you're ahead of me now. Uh-oh. Orcs didn't roll a two. Okay. <laughs> I feel a little faint. Um... Run, actually. Just go take a nip. It's fine. 20, 25, and I think I have to stow my weapon and grab a crossbow instead, which is going to that, that'll be my action too, because it's in a because I have to stow and then. You can do one weapon. If you try to do a bunch of little things like that, I I make you take your action, but. Oh, okay. You're okay. So I can just grab a crossbow, and then can I shoot? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I no longer have my right on, because... It is still on your other weapon. Oh, is it? I don't think it dissipates until you use it. No, it, it's on until I release the weapon. Ah. So it's a continual thing until we take a rest, or I release the weapon. Okay. comes first. So I think it's gone. But I... We don't have enough hit points to stay in the frame, and that's a four <laughs> for nine. Well, the orcs do have a different armor class, <laughs> but it's still above nine. Yeah. <laughs> they are zombies. <laughs> it uh, flies through the crowd and misses the orcs. Yeah. Uh, Thread the needle. The orcs go now, and the orcs are going to flood past the two bandits, and they are going to go... For the paladin. The bright shiny oh, thing in the middle no. in front of them. Yep. All of them. And I left you by yourself. 
That's okay. This is what I do. We'll fix that in a minute. It's all right. Yeah. I'm Surrounding her? Yes. All right, healers. They can move. Anybody As a bonus anybody? action, move up to their speed again. So they've got lots of movement. Well, it's only 25 for any of them. Yeah, it's only 25 for any of them. And they're all wielding great axes. Annika was a great paladin. <laughs> it's not over unless you. Is there anything you'd like written on the stone that they put above your grave? <laughs> there was three hits, mm-hmm. and one of them was bad. Okay, how bad? So the first two each do nine points. Okay. And the last one does fifteen. Okay, so not instant kill, but I'm definitely down. They rush the paladin, and the paladin is just overwhelmed. Did that really drop you? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Oh, now I need to get the other healer. Nice. That was their turn, though. Annika, would you like, before I roll the death save... For advantage, would you like to give everybody like what's flashing in front of your eyes a moment from your life? <laughs> She's having like memories of like her father like tr- first putting a little sword in her hand, and she's like learning how to fight against a little tool, and he's encouraging her, <laughs> telling her stories of the great heroes at night. Hmm. Adorable. So I will give you advantage. I gave myself advantage on that role for you. Okay. So, yeah, she's out on the ground. Now it's the bandit's turn. How long does Tasha's hideous laughter last? Indefinitely? Uh, no, up to one minute. So, that one is still coughing and wheezing and laughing. Uh, The other one is going to get off his horse and actually try to help his buddy back onto his horse. Sweet. The orcs don't need their help. (laughs) Actually, he runs up to where the boss has become revisible again and is trying to save the boss. Oh. The boss is a pile of goo because that acid damage keeps going. He might be taking the boss's stuff. (laughs) (laughs) Well, he's he's attending to his... His captain's needs. <laughs> Maybe that is... He doesn't need this anymore. <laughs> Back to the top of the order, Samber. All right. You have just seen the paladin be struck thrice. Yep. Well, he's going he's gonna to head up and pop himself around this guy. He's going to... Grab him around the neck in a big old buddy hug. And then he's going to, you know, grab another guy and just punch him. Just let him have it. He's, it's not fair to pick on people. Uh, does a 17 hit? Yes. That's both hitting. Uh, and doing minimum damage, 8, as... Two solid, you know. <laughs> that was for number one, I think. Uh, is that number one? Yes. yes, that is number one. You have bloodied the orc with the couple punches. He starts bleeding from his cheek and, or from the corner of his mouth and his nose and eye. Yeah. Whap, whap. And then I'm gonna, you know, kind of lean over and elbow the other guy just in a in a. Or that's number number three. He's leaning into the guy's space so he can, you know. Eh, eh, that'll teach him to say things about your wife. <laughs> you taking another attack? No, that is what I got. Okay. I'm sadly out of my stuff. As I'm third. Uh, that was somber. Toba, you're up now, and Jasper, you're on deck. Well... I see Hanukkah taking on all these orcs by herself and falling. I'm gonna, going to <laughs> I'm going to cast try to cast sleep in the middle of the group of orcs. So I toss another handful of sand. Pocket sand. 
Big money, big money. 14, 20, 25, 30, 31, and 37. Ooh, 37. That was cast at second level. So you cast it out, and let's say number two and six. And they fall over. They just lay them on their backs. They're on their sides. Well, well, on their backs was dead. But well, off the board is dead. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, God. I shall do as you want. 15, 20, 25. Those were two and six, right? Yep. We can move back that way. Moving away from. Well, I can. <laughs> Big scary works, yep. Okay. Um, that was. And how long did they sleep for for that? Uh, one minute. <gasps> That's really efficient. Okay. Jasper? Luckily, that doesn't um, take concentration. So I so. see, uh, I see Somber wailing away on the one work, and I figure. I'll give him a hand with that because I did just heal him, so I don't want him to, you know, waste that heal. You're all invested. I, in I'm him. all invested in him. You know, it's it's all about me. It's all about me. Um, oh, and I'm at height, so I get an advantage. Yep. Yeah. And You're shooting number one as well. I think. Twenty twenty one to hit easily. Okay. D eight. Five six seven eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. Now is on number one. Yes. You can actually hand me that particular figurine. I mean, you're still holding him. Wait, Samber still he's, got him up? He's been pin cushioned. <laughs> and suddenly he's a dead weight and Samber is just, oh, it's, oh, no. it's oh, the no. balance is gone. <laughs> it's less leaning and more holding up. <laughs> he's now your meat shield. Were you doing any other movement or are you quite happy with being on the roof? I'm quite happy where I am hiding in the crux of this roof. Okay. So that was Jasper. Red, it's your turn. And Ginny, you are on deck. I am going to take my short bow and shoot at number five. Because. Uh, ten. Ten goes wide. And I'm going to move. This way, uh, and kind of angled it off through and around that way. Yeah. That's good. Perfect. Circle strafe. Circle strafe. <laughs> Serpentine. <laughs> so that was Ren. Ginny. The orcs are on deck. Out of curiosity, how do we get into this tower? Uh, there are little doors on the inside of each other. So here, here, or here? Yeah. Where your finger was there. That's back. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. You still haven't seen the girl that was up there. Oh. But you lost, you lost sight of her. You haven't seen her for a while. She also hasn't shot back down at you. <laughs> she also had a really nice little hidey hole. <laughs> Feeling very damaged. <laughs> um... No, I'm going to go this way. 5, 10, 15, uh, 20, 25, sort of the, the crook there. Of that. Yep. And turn around and fire at number three. Crossbow takes a move to reload, doesn't it? Oh, I thought it was bonus action. Oh, bonus action? Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, natural one. <laughs> <laughs> now it will take a while. You maybe should have oh, taken... Half oh. Yeah. Oh. Two. <laughs> so it's not one. Was it half like luck? I'll just add another one to it. Or... <laughs> you didn't. You took just enough time to not snap your crossbow uh, and have to restring it, but it's still you're aiming and it slams into the corner. You're hiding too much around the corner, but. You're... I, I just use this. I'll yeah, take I that just, back and fire it again next I time. just use this thump on the thing below me. <laughs> Sorry! Just getting the hang of it still. 
<laughs> Still chipper. I'm bleeding everywhere. <laughs> so number one has been destroyed. Number two is asleep. Number three would like to have words with you about the honor of his wife. <laughs> Helping. <laughs> Does a 12 hit? No. And so, you know, it swings at me and Somber, like, stumbles backwards and does the backwards leaning thing and then stumbles back upright. Uh, so that was three. Number four is going to step over top of Annika and get right in front of yep, right in Somber. And did three move to do that or they have reach? Yeah, he yeah, he's moved in. Uh, does a 16 hit you? Yes, it does. You take nine points of damage. The uh, the blade of the great axe slices through your clothing and gets you get a nice healthy gash. All right. Uh, you know, so he he grabs it and he just kind of puts a hand on it. And now he's leaning on the guy's weapon because that's <laughs> that's a lot. Number five mm-hmm. is going to charge up to the magic user. Yes. He can easily make it with his bonus action. Surprise! (laughs) (laughs) As he hits you with the great axe, dealing nine points of damage. And you're laughing because you're a dwarf. (laughs) Annika? Did you have another... Yeah. Flash of lights that you'd like to try and give. Rest, now she's thinking of the day that she uh, uh, took the oath of her paladin and her father placed the, her hereditary sword in her hand, mm-hmm. the one that is laying on the ground by her side right now. Okay. I'm glad you had advantage. You didn't need that one. <laughs> no, we did not. <laughs> nope. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. That is, uh, leaves it to the bandit's turn. Uh, number three, or whichever one isn't on his back, we're laughing still, mm-hmm. has gone through his boss's pockets, and uh, you see him wiping, like he spent a good portion of that also wiping the caustic slime mm-hmm. off of his boss, mm-hmm. and he has thrown his boss over the back of the horse. Mm. And uh, number three takes off with his boss. The loyalty there. Mm-hmm. I mean, not number six. The no, the not slimy the... ball of. <laughs> not the uh, laughing guy. The dead Zul- guy. Yeah, it was, was Salkin. Somber and then Toba. You have new friends. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> leaning into this. Oh, that's a lot. But have you heard about this guy's wife? And headbutt him. <laughs> Twice. Uh, does a 18 hit? Easily. Seven won't. No. Four damage. I'm assuming you're leaving number three because that's whose wife you're yep. using. Yes, sorry. I am hitting. Uh, talking to the guy who hit me. Okay. Rather than the guy who got all mad at me. <laughs> Pulling back, you can... You can feel a very hearty dent from his nose, which is mostly broken cartilage already. They're not a peaceful place. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> yep, yeah, that is that's what I got. Okay. So now we're at Tova with Jasper on deck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just make <laughs> just line you up there. So, do not hit me. <laughs> no, I'm just like I'm just like okay, this will work. You can move as long as you don't leave his threat range. Yeah, you can go all around him. You can go all you around can circle. Him. Okay. Yeah, because I can move over this way, which would oh, definitely nice. give me two. So nice. <laughs> instead of I miss the sand and I toss out by accident, I toss out another. Anchovy. Rotten anchovy. <laughs> and a... Pocket sand splat. <laughs> oh, What's their sand? Right. Uh, Dex. Doesn't matter because they both roll very low. Okay. Nice. <laughs> they are hit with, again, another green slime of acid. 
Ooh. And it does hit those two. Yeah. I rolled Actually, twice. Four, Five, 15, 15, 20, 25, 30. Just. He's just barely. Governing the boot. Or is he in? He no, that's good enough. No, just okay. the two. If it's you range 30, you got him. Okay, cool. Yep, so that's my turn. Okay, so you oh, right, splash don't. both of them with a ray of acid. Uh, when it gets to number six, I'll come back to you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that was. Sorry, I'm just losing track of things here. Jasper, you're going to 13, and Ren, you're on deck. Um, so I see uh, Jin kind of scurry up underneath and lodge a bolt into the side of him. <laughs> like she's not looking so good. Uh, she's shooting the buildings. I don't know what the heck's going on. So uh, I go down there, and I'm going to do some cure wounds on her. The church said do you think Are you about jealous? A little bit. <laughs> From the one who went straight line to him the last time you was down. <laughs> well, 12. 12. 12. Goodness. Oh. I would, but I don't have any healing spells. I know. <laughs> I can make a stink like thing. fish. <laughs> it's not a good thing. You're a big problem. At least it's not a fish. Okay. Are you moving back up to the top again? Yes, yeah. I'm scurrying back up the wall. I just kind of... Half step down, touch her, and run away like a pervert in the dark. Boop. On the top of her head, <laughs> healed. Feels like it grabbed the, the the eaves with your toes. Yeah, <laughs> Ta- you tail reach. wrapped around the light. So you way down. <laughs> I'm using yeah, the yeah, yeah. Less than three feet tall. Number three. Oh, so you're gonna go after? Did you want to say something about his wife too? It seems to be going around. <laughs> in. Uh, Samber's voice, I mentioned about his wife. <laughs> arrow is seven. So, while your arrow may not have hit, you hurt his heart with your words. <laughs> oh, those barbs. They're mean. Um, but yeah, that's a, a miss. Were you using any kind of bonus action or movement? Um, I'm going to move all, all the way to the other side over that way. How far? Uh, just three. Right. Yeah. Five, six. Yeah. Thirty feet. Yeah. Cool. So that was Ren with a twelve. Ginny, you're on a Moving six. Moving target. Never stop moving. Yeah. I am thinking I need to trade out my dice pretty quick, but uh, in the meantime, I'm going to meander my way over here and say, "You are picking on my friend," and grab my skewer and try to skewer him. Okay. 17 plus hey. 6. 23. Oh, that is a <laughs> oh, sorry. I just got so used to saying that. <laughs> that <laughs> definitely <laughs> connects. Oh. Uh, 11 damage. 11 damage. Nice. Oh, now, what's the number on that one? 5. five? five. Oh, five. He's good yeah, he is definitely bloody. You skewer him right in the abdomen mm-hmm. and coming out. Like, he just immediately starts to pour blood from the wound. It is an unhealthy thing to have. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite shirt. <laughs> uh, any other bonus actions or anything? No, that's all I've got. Okay. Uh, oh, I could take more Jean. damage. No, I'm not taking more damage. <laughs> number three and number four First are going to... First, they take their yep. damage. Oh, that's right. Four and five. Oh, that's three points of acid. Okay, that's better than no points no of acid. Points, yeah, better. That's six on the board, yeah. You can give me number five. Oh, <laughs> hooray! It wasn't a lot, but it was enough. He succumbs to the bleeding and the acid. It just kind of tops him off. Yay! Uh, however, it, Tova. Well number done. three and four are still <laughs> both know. over there. Lots of freaks frame in the background while Sam was just getting worked. <laughs> They're swinging at you with the great axe, and uh, one misses and one connects for another nine points. Absolutely. So the one that misses, uh, you know, Samber ducks over and like kind of cartwheels, and then the axe comes down on him, and he's flat. Oh, three, like three uh, goes oh. ahead and, and uh, <laughs> absolutely. Shows him why his wife's virtue is intact. (laughs) (laughs) 
So we are back to the top of the order because the bandage is. Oh wait, Annika, mm -hmm. I forgot this is your third death save. It is. Would you like to oh. uh, try and get that advantage on your death save? So as uh, as the light starts to fade from Annika's mind, she hears a voice. And what does the voice say? Does it say get up or does it say welcome? <laughs> well, you, you, it's not just three. You have to have three successes or three failures. I okay. Can't, I can't tell you until I roll the dice. All right. So she says, uh, so the voice says, uh, Annika, Annika, now's not the time. Okay, you're, mm. you're still making sense. Okay. I can, I I definitely have another story I need to go about. <laughs> uh, so we're back to the top of the order. The the bandit is still just giggling like a hyena on heroin. Perfect. <laughs> uh, back to the top of the order. Samber, would do Samber. you have any kind of anecdotes that you're seeing of your life? So Samber definitely hears the overwhelming crash of the waves in his ears. And it doesn't matter, I have advantage. I know. Mm. I have secrets. They're not really hidden, but they're there. Okay, so that is your turn. You got Tova it. and Jasper's on deck. Well, knowing that those guys will probably more than likely come our way, I'm going to cast my last spell of the day. And I'm going to try oh, sleep on them. <laughs> to try Do to it. drop them. Do it. So, uh, I need D8s. Right. I don't roll attack. I was going to roll attack. Uh, no, no, no. Send him to Dreamland. 8, 10, 14, 19. Does 19 help at all? Yes. Lowest hit points first again. Lowest hit points first. But they're all the same hit points. Uh, number three. Lowest hit points remaining. Remaining? Yeah. yeah. Number four falls asleep. As does the bandit who's laughing. He's still kind of giggling in his sleep. <laughs> Did you try to break the bandage? <laughs> I did not. He's in range. Okay, cool. And it goes for the lowest HP. So the oh, only yes, one that's left so us, we're getting really good is number three. <laughs> well, so sorry. Uh, <laughs> actually, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I can make it over here. Okay. To try to get to Annika. Remember, these, I have these, a first aid kit. Not these a, are all sleeping. Not... I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, it, it, it's been about. Uh, I'm going to go for number three as it's the only one still standing. Uh, Fifteen to hit. Yes. Okay. Not by much. Ooh, eight, nine, 10, 11. Oh, nice. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen damage to number three. You do enough damage to. The orc is, he pulls it out, and that was probably the mistake. <laughs> because the bleeding just floosh, floods out. Had he left it in, it would have left a cool scar. And that Looking wasn't at his the heart. path he took. <laughs> Looking at his heart is on the stick. Thum, 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 thum. Just in Samber vision, he falls, falls, falls. <laughs> <laughs> huh. So that was... Jasper, Ren, you going at 12. People are still, everything that's on the board is still technically alive. The uh, enemies are all asleep for the next minute. And your companions are unconscious for maybe another 18 seconds at the most. <laughs> at death's door even. I don't heal. So. If you have the medicine skill, you could try healing or just, just stabilize them. Uh, just, just don't mess up. Because or we could, or we could. We could. No, now, do I you don't do have medicine. Do you do on sleeping creatures? It's an auto. Yeah, crit. auto crit on sleeping creatures. Okay, I'll Ooh. go up to one of the sleeping 
creatures <laughs> and just help you hurt him. Help you hurt him. <laughs> stick, stick my rapier into his belly. And shoot a third one. Him. And then pull it out. Shoot. No. No. That was random. Because it might wake someone up. Shoot. <laughs> it's true. Me? Yeah, yeah. You're on a six here. Yes. Um, hmm. Medicine check or stabbing? I think stabbing. <laughs> Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, grandma. And stab number four. What a big skewer you have. <laughs> right in the jugular, because I know it gushes better there. <laughs> Anna, Annika, I, I tell her, Annika would be so proud of you. <laughs> this Annika? Jimmy, your uh, mm-hmm. passive perception. Do you have a roll you'd like to make? Yeah, it's a probably role I'd like or to would make. you like advantage on it? I need an anecdote. So the anecdote that you're going to get is, um, <laughs> so Annika's mind, she sees the Kieran that came to her father, and the Kieran says... <laughs> Kieran says, stop messing around and get up. As you succeed on your third save <laughs> with a natural 20 <laughs> on the first roll. And that was... The Kieran says, I did not save your father for you to die here today. <laughs> and you get up. Can I get up? You have a single hit point in her stabilized. She's still technically prone. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, she'd have to stand up on her own. So Ginny's standing next to Samber. Mm-hmm. The, the large gash that's in his side, it, it's not bleeding, but it's very wet and it smells of seawater and booze. <laughs> Lots of booze. But there's definitely the tang of the sea flowing out of the side. Hmm. You're like a foot oh. away from him, so yeah. it's, it's well, Samber. And I'm really low yep. to the ground. <laughs> right, exactly. That's the foot away. Okay. Your head to his chest. Yeah. <laughs> I made your death save for you. Okay. Waves I'm, get louder. I can't say I made it, but I, I rolled the You dice. rolled for me. Thank you. Toba. Well, I'm just gonna What yeah. I'm gonna stab that one. So you can just give it to we me. We might as well just stab him. If they're asleep, <laughs> we should. I think sometimes the best. I think I heard it. I think I just go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's and okay. And you see, you see a strange, really glimmery light kind of like float over top of her. Ooh. All right. That was Tova Jasper. Hmm. Somber. Poor last guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who can you make it to first? Well, well both I both. can make it to both. Uh, yeah. But, so I'm going to scurry down to Somber. Since I did, you know, heal him, I, you know, I've spent all this effort on him. I, I don't want him to there. die. And I'm going to do a medicine check. Try and stabilize him. With a 13. You are stabilized at one hit point. All right. So, yeah, getting down in there, definitely not hard to notice. There's not blood. There's seawater. Cheap, cheap booze. <laughs> cheap booze. <laughs> so the only... Everyone is awake and stabilized, with the exception of the last sleeping bandit. That was Jasper. So, Ren, you're up next on a 12. I will move forward and... Stabby, stabby. stabby the sleepy guy. I'm going to laugh at him. Giggles <laughs> McGee. <laughs> <laughs> so you shove the sword and Sam was like, wait a minute! <sighs> you have finished off the last of the, the attacking bandit forces. There is still no sign of Kella at all. She's not in the tower? Wow. She's well, you're, out of the I tower. said there's no we sign of her. Up. You're outside of the tower. All no, right. I'd be very curious to find her, actually. More curious than your wounds, but <laughs> only marginally. <laughs> and I climb over your body. And make a... <laughs> <laughs> I grab my holy is... symbol and I press it against myself, and I'm like, oh, that hurt. <laughs> That's the good stuff. <laughs> And I do oh. my lay on hands and I give myself back my 15 hit points. 
<laughs> and making a mental note not to heal Jasper. Either. Yeah. He woke up just how in time. Jas- how was Jasper going to run into a group of six orcs? You know, Please you're a bard. Feet. Think of what kind of epic tale that would make that you don't get to sing. No one anymore. tells the tale of dead men or cats. <laughs> yeah, everybody does because they die heroes. <laughs> die like kibble. <laughs> I'm feeding you to the next work. So, <laughs> you open up and uh, roll a perception check for me. Which one won't betray me? <laughs> oh, not oh, that one. Not that one. Twenty. You <laughs> looking up the stairwell. You don't see any movement. Uh, you can see it's open inside, all the way up to the roof. There's a little path where you can go all the way around. Uh, and you don't see hide nor hair of her. But you know that you can easily get out. She could have climbed out the outside. She could have gotten out onto the... Because all, all along the wall, there's a walk path. So she's obviously fled. She is no longer here. Kel is not here. Uh, not her body, not anything. She might not have liked what I said to her. I am very persuasive. Maybe you tried to tell her about the sexual... <laughs> 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 Don't see anyone complaining when they get it. <laughs> it was quite pleasant, actually. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, the uh, kind of purveying there is just piles of both uh, bandit bodies and orc warrior bodies in the street here. Uh, looking out over the gates, you can see that it the, Im- the force of the impact as it fell has twisted the frame it was on. It looks like, because it was held up with chains, and the chains are, aren't into the towers anymore. Both of them have come loose. Mm-hmm. It uh, almost looks as if they've been severed somehow. Mm-hmm. And that's what I was afraid of. I need a drink. Yep. Um, can we, like, pull those chains up and use some rope and kind of well, I've At seen least your get, strength, and you don't have a chance. I, I'm not saying, I said we, not not me. Can we uh, try point. at least winching that gate up? So, because why don't I would, you? Uh, I would assume Kella was the one who released it. Why don't you take a look around? The horse is somewhere back there. I saw at least one of them run in. Find that thing. We can hook it up. It takes you a little bit of time to uh, you, yep. run the horse down, but it's not. It's not getting out of town. That was really the only way in or out that a horse could use. Mm-hmm. Natural 20 to animal handling, so we're able to calm him. Well done. <laughs> Claws in its neck, just riding it <laughs> like bare, what I said. Just riding it bareback. <laughs> You're going to do what I want. <laughs> you took off its saddle first. <laughs> yep. I don't know what these saddle things are. I'm just on its neck. <laughs> It's just in it for the movie moments. Yeah. You probably had a bit of experience working with horses from yeah. the circus. Yeah, yeah, with the kobolds, they had horses that I had to drive yeah. all the time. So, yeah, is, are you guys doing anything else, or what's what's kind of running through your minds here? I know some of you have weapons running through your bodies, but <laughs> I'm feeling better now. So, I'm going to get up and I'm going to go find, um, you know, the local carpenters and blacksmiths and be like. Gonna need some help here. Well, the uh, they are around. They haven't really opened up shop today. They're still kind of emotionally recovering from being held captive by the goblins. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's when it's moments after dawn, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty early. still quite early. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure practice. the screaming works. It. It's time to fix the gate, everyone. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you are able to convince them quite easily. More bad. The fact that they just got out of being being held captive, they're they're very interested in getting that drawbridge to work again. Uh, so they'll start running ropes to pull the chains back into place, and they're able to to forge new new chain connections for the, the ones that were And I am going to snag a carpenter um, and be like, we need to get across the bridge. Um, so help me get that fixed so we can go talk 
to the leaders of this town and hopefully find language. some reinforcements. Is this, well, it's going to yes. take... I, I kind of have to give preference to the drawbridge. Yes. And this is going to take me a few days. And Samer takes himself a deep breath and, you know, before he says, where can we find some planks? Hmm. Yeah. I think with all the destroyed houses and stuff, there should be lots of scrap around for the, us. Uh, the houses stood up fairly well to the rocks that fell through them. Okay. Uh, the boards and whatnot that were knocked loose have been mostly torn to splinters. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need some new lump, uh, some new like uh, lumber. Lumber. Thank you. Well, it's okay. You're I'm having words. You're drunk. It's okay. <laughs> I understood. While they're dealing with that, I go find a clean, dry space and I remove bandages from my legs. Okay. What were the bandages for? Nobody's asked, so... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there were bandages on your legs? Yes. I said the first... Uh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, he was the only one that noticed. You, I'm the only one that noticed. I'm not saying. I know. I heard you put them on. Like, yeah. Wouldn't it be easier to put shoes on? But I'm like, yeah, whatever. It's their flavor. I don't know. Who am I to... So was the bell removed from the church? The You or guys the, had cut the, the rope. rope. To the bell. So, <laughs> if you want to ring the bell, you've got to climb back up the tower and reattach the rope. I wonder who did that. It feels like a nice gesture. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should probably hook the bell back up so that at least have some warning. Yeah, that could be a good thing. Perhaps we're cat to climb up and do it. Hmm? Yeah, and scurry up there with the rope. Yeah. It's not yeah. difficult for. Because you have an actual climb speed, don't you? Yes, I do. So yeah, the uh, the townsfolk are starting to work in on on getting the bridge drawbridge repaired. They have to do some work in the tower with metal, and and then they have to do a bunch of framing work on it. But uh, they're they're quite confident they can get it. But it'll take a few days. They're very very grateful that you have helped them. Hmm. But that might not be the last of the bandits, maybe. Mm -hmm. If we could repair the bridge, perhaps there's more guards to help us with bandits on the other side. I would if assume keep. there should be. And at least the leader of this town should know that, you know, someone is actively trying to take it over while she's sitting in her keep. Mm -hmm. So you guys are kind of discussing this, and you've done a bunch of running around. Uh, the innkeep, Morak, he was the dwarf who kind of kicked you out of his kitchen. Ah. <laughs> he comes up and he's got a big kind of sack. He's like, I really, you know, I was grateful that you guys rescued myself and the townsfolk, but, you know, you've done it. You've saved us again. That Kella wandering monk, what a, what a traitor she was. I thought she was, well, she wasn't what she said she was. So I will, uh, I would like you guys to have this. And he, he hands the paladin, give it to the cruel, stealing tabaxi. I found the claw marks and cat hair in my room. Uh, he gives it to you, but in the jet, or in the sack, he has his possessions. Let's see. Just all of them? Well, he has some stuff for you guys. The, it contains a suit of chainmail sized for a dwarf. A dwarven helm, uh, a small pouch that has 45 gold and two 100 gold gem pieces, and a potion. And uh, you don't have to guess what the potion is. He'll tell you. He says, this is a potion of heroes. And uh, I think it's quite, quite fitting that you heroes take it. Hmm. Now, that was a fairly long combat. Before we uh, before we start heading towards the keep, I'm gonna let you guys take another another little break here. So we'll uh, we'll give our viewers a bit of a breather as well, and we'll come back in uh, five ten minutes. Ah, we're so close to getting rid of that pesky paladin Annika, and it was almost a twofer with the monk as well. <sighs> Some mornings it's just not worth getting out of bed. 
That was episode 6 of Moose Jaw Gamers and No Good Rolls, Just Good Role Playing. It was previously recorded while streaming on Twitch. Check out their channel for live streams. Please like and subscribe here and on Twitch. You can see the continuation of their adventures in about a week's time.